Hello, hello, and welcome to Ascended Stars. This is your December 2017 Virgo, Virgo reading. Okay, um, I apologize for being late. I left Virgo and Libra, and I knew Libra was going to be last, and, and I still shuffled my astrological card to see who comes first and Virgo here you are so I hope you guys are doing well a um, lot of stuff happening we had a lot of stuff hap happen uh, let me tell you right now currently we have um, December I did all, most of the readings on December 3rd but today uh, is the 5th and um, I'm doing your reading so it's still early in the month uh, the Gemini full moon, the last one of the of the year, and we're fully in the retrograde. Yes, from the twenty, from the third to the twenty second, and of course we have shadow to contend with after the twenty second. But at least you know um, we'll be out of the main chunk of it. Also, Neptune went direct on the twenty second of November at eleven degrees. We also had an amazing eleven degree. Um, full moon there was a lot of 11 degree angles the full moon um the sun in sag and scorpio jupiter in scorpio and neptune in pisces all at 11 degrees so that 11 11 portal for you for me it affected me greatly so i don't know how it went for you but it was uh really beautiful energy and november 9th mars is going to move into scorpio on the 12th 12th portal some good stuff's gonna happen i do feel it and um the 18th the new moon is in sag the 19th saturn our big brother uh brother sign uh father brother <laughs> uncle sign of saturn is going into its home sign of capricorn well capricorn's really the the sign i'm talking about but um the planet Saturn is going to go home to Capricorn. That's huge. So that's a lot of this heavy duty 3D energy that we're feeling right now. Uh, Capricorn rules the bones as well. So, you know, structures, finances, banks. Um, anyway, so what else is going on? 21st, the sun enters Capricorn. And the 23rd, Mercury goes direct out of retrograde in, into Sag. And the 25th, Venus enters Capricorn, joining Capricorn. Um, so let's see what we have for the energies that I can pick up for the month of December for my Virgo. Now, if this doesn't resonate for you, please check your moon and your rising Um or just get a personal reading. <laughs> and that's at ascendedstars at gmail.com. One, two. Oh my goodness. Out of all the signs, Virgo is the only one that only got two major arcanas. And they're the really good ones. <laughs> Let me tell you. All the other signs have been getting four to five major arcanas at least in they're spread so that means you know it's a lot of heavy playing energy for us i guess we can write it out because we're gonna we're, we're used to these retrogrades you know i mean my goodness it happens three to four times a year in our sign uh let's see i like it you know because there's a lot of fire element here too and we're in the sign of sagittarius which is fiery typically not i don't have a lot of fire i'm not very fiery um I can be, but it just doesn't seem like my earth overpowers that. And, and, then, and we're going to be able to um, really relate to this fire energy, which is great. Uh, okay, so. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you here, interesting energy that we have um virgo we're going we're stepping into this cycle okay a lot of signs um a lot of other zodiac signs some of them 50 50 have already began the, this new 
uh, world, this new cycle, that they're already in it and they are um, releasing one side and, and entering another, entering another doorway, a pathway, a portal, um, a cycle, however you want to name it, label it. But for us, it looks like we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I would just uh, tell you that I feel that um, this cycle's done, you know, this cycle, we, we're entering the cycle that's being done. And there's still perhaps doubt or disbelief about a cycle, you know, dis I'm relating it to the cycle, okay, but this is wands, so it's, it's our belief system. So I believe yeah, I believe that we don't believe that we're going into this. We're like, you know, doubting it, worried, um, saying, wow, we're really maybe maybe good things can happen to me. <laughs> you know, maybe this is the six of wands energy, recognizing that, hey, maybe I can be victorious this year. You know, uh, Virgo liking to be the victim or the uh, little bit of the duality of the Pisces, poor me. I'm never going to get out of this funk repeating the story, you know, um, but your ships have come in and, and, you know, you, in, in your, in your spirit, in your mental realm, you know, in your psychic ability, you know, that your ships are here and, and better things are coming and you can recognize this and you really want to shoot for the star. You really want to go for it. You're like, I'm going to, damn, I'm going to just do it. I'm, I have this dream. I got a vision. I got a sight. I, I want to accomplish. I want to move towards, and I don't want to get too emotional about it. I want to separate myself emotionally. I just want to do it right. All this fire. And you're, you got the, you got, you know what I mean? You got enough fire this month to propel yourself, to keep telling yourself, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, you're actually move, making steps towards it, manifesting, okay? Which is great energy. You're, you're not allowing the past or anything to get to you, right? And yet... There's still an energy here of um, not quite satisfied, okay? The Four of Cups. Not quite satisfied with perhaps what the energy or what the world is bringing you. We are in retrograde energy. There is no satisfaction in retrograde energy because things aren't moving. It's stuck. I would think as four, I look at four and I think of it as stuck. It's non-moving, inactive. That's the energy we have to contend with, okay? You might have put out an offer to someone to for something, but I think it's to someone. Could be someone very fiery, could be Aquarius. Um, and it and you're like still waiting for a reply. Did did you get this reply? You're waiting for hopefully love, right? It's romance, because we got the eight of wands right next to it. So we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Four of Hearts. And there's like some great delay on my computer. I don't know why it's acting up so weird. But um, you're going about your business. You're recognizing you can do things. You have a vision. You There's something in the four, in, 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 in your eyesight. There's something... You got your eyes set on. There's, there's, you got your eye on the prize. Okay, you're driven. You're not allowing anybody to get to you to, to uh, waste, waysayers. Um, you, you have, you know, you see your ships come in. You know that this is happening. It's very, uh, still young. It's not at, to fruition yet. You know, with those little kind of cupid like babies. Um, but it's, it's there. You have this vision. You're moving towards it. You have uh, your dream, you're moving towards it, and you recognize that this is whatever from the past has happened, and now you can move forward. Underneath that energy, though, there you might be waiting for somebody to contact you, to connect with you, to offer you something, um, and you're feeling left out. There's a sense of being left out, okay? 
or there's a sense of like, maybe I'm being too needy. I don't want to be too needy. So I'm going to, you can waver between being too needy or not needy, you know, not needing at all. Oh, I got this. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to continue. So it could be either or, you know, it depends who you are. As so many, I'm reading for so many, but, um, definitely if that's not the energy, the other, let's do it the other way as well. You will be getting uh, information through the internet, through um, cyberspace, you know, somehow through an electrical device, okay? It will be coming. There is, it, there is some, um, this, this contact coming, yet um, you're not quite so enthralled with how how you receive it you're gonna receive you're not gonna be receiving it like oh yay it's here you know oh finally you made it or who knows you know you were you're like eh, eh, you're not really moved and the other one the other interpretation too is that um, you're too preoccupied feeling bad feeling not good enough not worthy enough or um, too preoccupied with like making money not having enough i need more money i need more i need to feel more secure that could be something because virgos do like to feel that monetary security before they you know propel out into the um into maybe any ed uh, romantic adventure of any sort you need to have your own solid ground set but it's time for you to recognize that soon this new energy, which is already you've stepped into, but you're a little in disbelief. Um, things, you know, hey, nothing, the shoe has not dropped. Nothing ha bad has happened. So believe, believe, you know, and, and, and hold that vision, hold that vibration. Keep it up, keep it high, okay? Um, you will be tempted to be down on yourself, and to get and, and it could be about love okay it's not it it actually isn't even the time to be uh in a relationship with retrograde energy we don't want to initiate anything and and it's and it's difficult communication with the loved ones even if you have someone so it's like misinterpretations and i thought you said this no i said that and trying to um, you know it's like oh that petty stuff i can't stand it so <laughs> I hope this helped someone. I'm also doing a Celtic cross. So we have this message and then we try to see what kind of um, information we can get from the Celtic cross message. And it, it could be completely different or they could be related. So I, this is general, not much, you know, I'm really uh, pleasantly surprised that not much love has come up. I don't think it's time for love on a, on a collective level we're all working so individually uh intricately to try to um balance our energy with all these downloads and the 11, 11 portal and um you know the masculine is waking up i mean they really are but they're not totally awakened <laughs> and i'm not saying gender wise but some people are just you know um it does, gender has nothing to do with this, what I'm trying to say, but, you know, some people are just not awakened. They're just still in um, in a place of not being awakened. So I, many have awoken but, and they haven't realized they stepped into this new world and they're, you know, coming to that realization. And it's not easy. It's not easy, you know. You keep going about your business and then all of a sudden there's shifts. There's surprises. The world is changing so fast. It's causing you to wake up. To see things realistically. In a, we only have TikTok. We only have so much time, right? Saturn. Get it together. Manifest. All right. So let's see what we have for Virgo on a collective level. Okay, so the past has not been too bad, too shabby. We have the sun card, and um, that's beautiful energy. So you've been optimistic, you know. Like for me, I can honestly say 
tick tock tick tock when the hell is everybody gonna wake up and <laughs> very impatient um and i'm like okay just wait because you know you're gonna go through this portal there's gonna be more people with you they need to wake up that we all need to move together we all need to uplift each other and you know these are the reasons the reasons for my readings you know it's because i'm like what is going on there's so much of this energy it's, i'm so sensitive to it why doesn't anybody else see it yeah slowly but surely it's happening okay what's the energy beneath you okay you made a choice not easy okay um but you made that choice and kudos to you okay we even have um, Mars and Libra right now where choices are not easy to, to, for people to make. It's like they're teeter-tottering. Well, should I do this or should I do that? Or I could do that and this is good and that's good. And on the ninth, Mars moves to Scorpio. Very black and white. It's like, okay, this is what I stand for. This is what I do right here. You know, I think it's going to be quite interesting. Mars is the uh, co-ruler of Scorpio and fiery and we're in a fiery month and the north node is in fire and i think there'll be some really deep desires that are going to pop up <laughs> and surprise so we'll see how that plays out all right let's see um the current energy is the ten of ten of swords whoa some stuff just fell okay um for the month this is what it's saying this is not fun energy this is uh probably bad communication a lot of pain but it's the end of the pain okay so don't look at it as bad it's like you're stepping into this new paradigm in this new world you know we had the, the wheel of uh, fortune which is also a 10 another cycle 10 is important um closing off this one year there are you know this this is saying there are things that we need to purge and acknowledge mercury is going to be going through the galactic center it's going to go over stuff that we thought if you see my instagram post from yesterday you thought that you had processed but oh guess what you know surprise you still got to process some more and it's going to be like the gook at the very bottom, right? So it looks like it's going to be really um, quite interesting energy. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, some of us are going to experience perhaps some deep nights of the soul and some um, dark nights of the soul here in, in this process from now to the 22nd. Not fun. But we have to know Well, number three being, we just had a full moon in Gemini. So it's about connecting with people who you understand. You're, you're spiritually connected to your spiritual family, your spiritual tribe. You know, Gemini is about connection. So I really think that's going to hold us through. And um, it's not romance. It's connecting with those uh, kindred souls. And the second thing is that, you know, it's just a transitional energy. Please remember that it's not going to last forever. It is going to go away. So uh, you're, you will be able to see more optimism down the line or try to stay optimistic that or try to stay focused on what you want, that it's coming to you. Okay, and what's above you? Family, okay? Family is another place for wonderful retreat. Um, this is, you know, the, the home that's secure, that feels good. We love that. You know, we love, it's a very Torian quality to have a comfortable home and, uh, generational money and generational health and generational abundance, you know, from your child to you, to your parent. It's beautiful energy. So this is over, uh, the whole reading the the top one here that's the vibe okay even though you might feel pain inside please know your ships are coming and you will find solace in the family positivity solace in the family home and the ha family shelter in in the um, family unit 
Okay, again, nice energy. We have the Six of Wands. Uh, victory is in the near future here. So that's a beautiful energy. Recognition that, yes, a brighter situation will be coming. Some This pain, you, you know, you turn your back on the pain and go for, replace the word pain with passion. Passionately go for what you want. Passionately, you know, pursue it unapologetically as i like to say how you feeling about yourself well you're a little bit conservative with your money and with your emotions probably because you're highly sensitive and that's something that a lot of people think you know virgos are a little uh maybe dry maybe sticks in the mud but we're not we're super sensitive and so that's why we don't really show that much because sometimes you know it's it i don't know why but we don't and and um this is this energy of not showing a lot you know being a little more stoic with your facial expressions with your money you know seem seeming a little bit stingy i guess um but i think i consider it self-preservation you know we need these energies are we harness as Virgos. We're so sensitive that we're we're transmuting these energetic fields a lot, and that takes a lot of energy and work. So also you'll be processing a lot. I think it. I think this card is really because of everything we've gone through. You know, everything from 2012 onwards is where I get it. We're really stepping into a whole new, you know, I, I, as I, as, as I study astrology, I just realized, you know, Saturn coming back to its home sign, it was horrific when it went through Scorpio. It's probably not been that great for Sagittarius and it just leaves a trail like the like this fires that we're having it just ob obliterates everything it leaves a trail of ashes and it makes you go wow a house used to be there wow you know a car is used to park there and it just makes you put priorities in a completely different place that's what saturn does it's very karmic and now for it to go home and to be in this place of where it belongs it's just huge it's just huge i can't get into it advice advice from the universe the temperance card okay the temperance card divine timing trust have faith balance your emotions don't drink too much my 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 people um but it's it's really about you know the belief in the month of sagittarius remaining faithful and believing trusting in time 3d time is what saturn rules so um there will be a lot of things that are going to be set straight but you're not going to set them straight the universe is going to set them straight and saturn going into its home sign is going to set things straight i i already have gotten a little bit of taste of this um you know a lot of you know I have a lot of Scorpio energy, so you know the Scorpio, it's the sting, the stinger, or whatever. I've I've learned at a young age, you know, just let it go, let it be, let bygones be bygones, let people live, and um, you know, live and let live is what I'm trying to say. And and so with this energy, the Temperance energy, um, as advice, it's like I just feel it's also kind of has a, a justice feeling to me. You know, the scales are are being are being um, balanced because this is kind of happening in waves for me i'm getting a taste of it and um you know a lot of people have done me wrong and i'm just like let it go let it go and then i i'm realizing okay well you know they're getting their 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 situations blocked as well and i always always warn people you know be careful be careful because you may get away with it for so long and then boom, there's a big block or there's like a big, you know, fall, like these guys that are falling on the news. Um, okay, so like the final card is that someone's gonna come along and offer you, you know, like a sweet romantic gesture here. 
could be a water sign, which would be very complimentary, but it could be um, just somebody that is paying attention to you and romantically uh, wanting to get close to you. But they're a little immature. They're not quite sure, emotionally immature for sure. Okay, let us let me put that out there. Um, you're definitely going to stomp on them on an emotional level. So pull it back, Virgo, you know? I mean, you're sensitive and stuff, but I'm just saying sometimes we don't allow, uh, you know, because we're like over analytical or whatever. This person's not analytical at all. This person's very emotional and um, sincere. Sincerity. Please be sincere. Yes, they are. Um... Shall I find out more about this? Because this is very curious. I want to know who that is. I want to know a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, research here. We're going to dig deeper with clarifiers. So Spirit, please tell me about this Knight of Cups. Please, share with me and my viewerships. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? What's this about? What can Virgo expect? Okay, we got some very interesting cards. Uh, we have Priest, which is about um, having faith, right? So we have this having faith, again, theme going on. <laughs> Trying to really push it to us. Okay. Um, this card is, is really coming up for me too because this is not about what you see with your eyes but what you feel in your heart and what you um, choose to have faith in you know what you choose to you know keep you grounded and and um, and your faith this this offering is going to be a gift and it, it's a twofold here Virgo might be fearful. It might really set you like in a in a place where you're fearful, or um, huh? I don't know. Let's see. Let's pick another one. I was afraid this was going to happen. This was weird. I was thinking about it. Um, I, I'm picking up that there could be a jealous woman. And um, it seems to be like interceptive, interceptive energy here where this, this energy wants to come, be a gift to the Virgo, but there is some kind of manipulation. There's an interception here. Um, and I consider this dark energy at this point. I don't work nat naturally work with this, but it's what I'm picking up. And this, this uh, Knight of Cups, this energy that wants to come towards the Virgo um, is for romantic reasons, right? They see you romantically. But um, you're going to have to do some, some clearing and some beliefs, you know, because if the Virgo doesn't believe uh, that you can get love, that you are worthy, that you are lovable, that you are um, going to manifest this love, this interceptor energy is really, you know, um, winning. So you have to do your own kind of internal work on, on these doubts and these fears that you have about love, surrounded about uh, concerning love. Because, you know, the universe is saying your ships are here, you can have it, um, but it's only manifestation through your beliefs, wants, your heart, your, um, your soul, you know, your soul talking to, to, to the Lord, to the universe. 
and deciding that you're worthy for you know something good something better love you're lovable and that you are head over heels the one that you should be picked you know head and shoulders or but better than the rest of the of whatever whoever you think is is there could be um not only interceptor energy but you know this this person might have other you know exes and people around them and and uh you gotta you gotta make yourself believe that you're worthy that you can you're the one to be chosen you're the one so you have to meditate okay um i suggest that you do this you know on your weekend um when you really are relaxed and you can really focus and and um and feel like you know bring this energy to you bring this this new lover bring this person that wants to come into your life but you you need to have the faith right you need to believe so i don't know my camera's acting so crazy i'm really frustrated but let me um let me go ahead and give you the, the guidance the archangel guidance you guys got a really interesting reading and i love it it's really beautiful so um if you want your own personal reading and we can get tap into the energies that you are um, experiencing right now please reach me at a set of stars at gmail.com i've also connected with instant go a wonderful company that i'm working with where you can get your answers to your questions um, instantly <laughs> and i have all the information down below to reach me uh, okay so let's see here it's on the description box by the way i'm gonna pull two loves i was gonna do that for you and and um Libra because I'm, I'm a little later with you guys so I'm like I'll pick another I'll just choose two extra one extra romance card and one of my favorite decks this one's it this one's it and also Archangel Guidance so we're gonna have a quite an interesting month I do plan on putting up some more videos um, this month more actively I want to get your monthlies out and especially during the retrograde <laughs> of course i'm late it's a retrograde i'm like if people only understood it's a retrograde <laughs> all right so let's see um let's do the love let's keep the love theme going codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life this makes a lot of sense with the cards we just pulled um this partner could have issues or this future partner or the situation it could involve codependence on your side or the other person's side we don't know i mean in your situation um true love yes this is the romance of a lifetime so um staying positive knowing that this love's gonna come um i tend to get impatient i tend to be like where is it i want it now i think a lot of the feminine are like that right now but believing you know hey i'm just gonna work on myself i'm just gonna go to the gym i'm gonna work out i'm gonna tune up and tone up and um be good to me and just have faith that's what you gotta do <laughs> uh overcoming difficulties archangel jeremiah the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges so i think i think that ten of swords energy is when the galactic when we review when we have to go back some over some stuff and we're and mercury's going through the galactic center i think that's going to bring up a lot of intense stuff um maybe hey i don't know maybe round one we didn't go through it and we gotta do it again going you know retro round two and you know from what i understand it's gonna it's going back and forth back and forth so um even round three so that's what i'm saying is that it's just gonna be like really that ten of swords energy is just going over stuff like kind of maybe opening the band-aid wound and then like saying hey is it healed and then close it up you know <laughs> i don't know but it's 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 gonna be intense so that Ten of Swords energy, there will be some type of intensity for us emotionally, okay? And it is like no one can really be there for us. We have to be there for ourselves. So connect to what makes you feel good. Um, you know, dare to dream because 
if you go into this dark place and you don't have any visions for yourself, it, it could be really, really ha haunting and terrifying. You've got to have visions for yourself of a, a better place, okay? Um, you've got to. Because when, when, when that stuff hits you, you can retreat back to the, this place in, you know, that you know is better than where you're at, where that whatever sudden thing happens. Okay, spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Well, I dare say do kind of hold back because it's retrograde energy. But um, after, you know, get everything, get all your ducks in a row and, and, and get everything organized and review, reflect, you know, uh, reorganize all of that. And then when the 22nd happens, yes, you can spread your wings and you can definitely go for it. And this is like romance, whatever, work, whatever. And look, prosperity, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So it's about really, I mean, Saturn makes you be disciplined and it makes you see things clearly. Like if you want that, you know, how are you going to get from point A to point B? It's through a straight line. And it says, you know, you got to make it to that end of the, of the, of the, it's it's the high it's the it's the goat right it's reaching the top of the mountain and the goat always goes for the top the top the top and you have to have discipline to get there so i think um the brother sign of of saturn of capricorn and saturn going into its home sign is going to be able to really propel the virgo energy to get very realistic on a, all levels so i love that and turn on your heart light see this is what the energy i was talking about like to bring in the love you got to feel the love you got to be in love to be in love allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love oh my god i love this this i love when this happens this is exactly what i was mentioning um in the Celtic cross reading. So I will leave you with this. And if you want to reach out to me, ascendedstars at gmail.com would be my absolute pleasure to read for you. Um, as always, I really appreciate you. Thank you for commenting, watching, subscribing, and much love and light to you in the month of December. Stay strong, my dear, and keep on believing and dare to dream your wildest dreams. Bye-bye.